at USAA and Fidelity, they expect, measure, and demand first call resolution for their customers. To do that, you've got to give the frontline teams input into the systems and control over how things get done and how they get delivered. Amazon.com views customer service as an ongoing R&D lab. What do I mean by that? Their assumption, think about this, Amazon.com is supposed to be self-service, right? So they look at this and they say, if a customer had to call us or email us with a problem, there must have been something wrong with our system that didn't enable them to self-serve. And so they don't just fix the problem for that customer, they go back and they fix the system for all customers so it never happens again. These companies are awesome at creating rituals and signature moments. Rituals and signature moments. What do I mean by that? I had an experience a few months ago. I had two sleepless nights in a terrible hotel. And I checked out of that hotel on the third day. I was just so frustrated at not sleeping. I checked out and I went to the closest hotel, which just happened to be a Westin. And I'd seen these ads. They talk about their heavenly beds. But I never understood what it was about until I touched it. I flopped into that bed, and I'm telling you, I was gone. I was absolutely zonked until my wake-up call came the next morning. And I was, at that moment, a lifetime Weston customer. When I got out of bed the next morning, I went into the shower, and they had not one huge shower head, but two huge shower heads. These things are, I mean, they're massive. I turned on the water, it's like Niagara Falls in there. I was absolutely ecstatic. Okay, I am never sleeping anywhere else if I've got a choice. And what I want you to notice about this, is how much ongoing maintenance and support does this require, really? The bed is there, the bedding is there, the shower heads are there. Right? It's operationally simple, super for the customer. And now for the ultimate signature moment, think about the day a Harley customer has the tattoo artist tattoo that brand into his skin. Do you really think he's ever a viable Honda customer after that? <laughs> These winners build superb recovery systems. Lexus had a recall a few years ago. They not only did it at the customer's convenience, dropped off the loaner, picked it up, waxed the car, washed the car, repaired the car, returned it back to the customer. But on each seat in the car was a special gift for each family member and a note apologizing for the recall. They found that their customers were actually happier they had a recall than if the thing had just worked. They changed the game from simple personal service to creating unique customer experiences. They found a way to deliver these unique customer experiences consistently as they grew. And this is the key. It's got to be consistent. Why is this so critical? It's critical because a brand is a guaranteed experience. It has to be exactly the same over and over again in order for the brand to mean something to that customer. If it's good one day and not another, it doesn't count. Every one of these companies have reinvented their service experience at the intersection of three key customer touch points. 
the offer touch points, the systems touch points, and the human touch points. In other words, because there is so much variability in the human side, what they do is they make their offers truly extraordinary, their systems truly extraordinary, so that even if there's a little bit of variance on the human side, the total experience is still far better than anything else in their industry. It's what I call touchpoint branding. Offer touchpoints are product offers, service offers, and, or combinations of products and services. USAA sold life insurance to active duty personnel during Desert Storm. Every other life insurance company invoked the war clause and stopped selling insurance. They actually went out and promoted insurance to their customers. They encouraged their customers to downgrade their auto insurance during their active services. If you're not using your car, you're over in the Middle East, let's downgrade your insurance for you. They told their customers they would not cancel a policy during the war for non-payment because they understood some of the difficulties in making that happen. They set up a Desert Storm hotline to handle every single financial issue for a survivor, not just the areas where they were involved. And after Desert Storm, they paid a rebate to every one of their customers because their claims were lower than they had expected. Do you think that builds loyalty? Some examples of systems-driven touch points. IT infrastructure used by the front line, automated telephone, fax, and web interfaces, automated kiosks, order forms, your internal systems and processes, your line management systems, staffing, and brochures all would fall into this category. So what are these other companies doing? Well, Dell has a custom configuration system that allows you to configure your system online. Amazon recommends all kinds of things that uh, you might like, and I love it. I have a list of authors in there that I've bought their books, and every time they come out with a new one, they send it to me. It's just fabulous, totally automated. Ritz-Carlton has preference profiles, so that if I make a request at one Ritz-Carlton, when I arrive at the next Ritz-Carlton, they don't even ask, it's already done. Well, what about the human touch points? Human touch points are what your front line looks like, what they say, what they do, the attitude with which they do it, their speed, their sense of urgency, and most importantly, their style. TGI Fridays has very unique uniforms and pins that you know, are part of the human experience. Zig Ziglar, one of my friends and other speakers, answers their phone. Everybody in the company answers the phone. It's a great day at Zig Ziglar's. I mean, the first time it happens, it's a shock. You call in a little information, and hello, it's a great day at Zig Ziglar's. Wow, that's a motivated staff, right? Walt Disney said, do what you do so well that people will come back to see you do it again and will bring others with them to see you do it. I can't imagine a better motto for a company because it encompasses everything we've talked about. Disney is very clear about their brand. They are very clear about who they are. The question you need to think about while you're here is who are you? Tomorrow, we'll introduce you to what could be your greatest fear and how to overcome it. See you tomorrow.